Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign on bonus for using that link. So I got a question about uh, the best way to learn audio programming, which might seem like a little bit of a strange question since I, I don't really know much about audio programming per se, but I think that really this could represent any kind of technology that you're trying to learn, any kind of thing that you're, you're trying to learn. So I'll go ahead and answer this question. And this is from Charlie. And Charlie says, hey, John, or hi, John. I'm currently teaching myself web development with a burning passion to break into the industry. My goal at this point is to dedicate the next few years of my life to this end. However, producing digital audio tools is where I see myself in 10 years. Should I start learning software development now alongside web development or concentrate on web dev first? I have a passion for both, but I am not so much interested in software development for business slash enterprise. So he's interested in being a web developer. Um, and then he's got some additional info here that I'll read. He says, amazing channel. Your attitude is infectious. That's awesome. I like to give people infections. I have learned music production slash DSP for the last eight years. I learned C sharp for two years when I was a teen. Uh, C and C++ are most viable technologies for DSP in terms of potential performance and job market. I live in Bristol, England with the thriving technology music industry. So I got to tell you, I think it was Chris, right? Chris, what do you do? Or Charlie, Charlie, sorry, Chris, sorry, Charlie, <laughs> sorry, Charlie. Uh, what are you doing, man? You're doing the wrong thing here. You want to learn audio programming. You want you see yourself in ten years going down the road of becoming essentially a, a software developer who does DSP audio programming stuff. I don't know much about. Okay, you know I I know how to edit audio in Audacity. Okay, but you're 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 getting into web development and you're going down C sharp when you said that all the tools for DSP for the audio stuff that you want is C and C plus plus. Here's what you need to do: start learning the tools for the audio, you know, learn all the audio software. I'm sure you already know all the audio software. Start building plugins for Audacity. Start working on actual tools. Build your own audio program. Start learning that technology. There's definitely going to be jobs there, okay? There might not be as much, but but try to find the uh, the overlap as much as possible so that you can be doing the relevant stuff and and on your side projects be creating audio filters or plugins for Audacity or for, I don't know, what, Adobe Premiere is it, or Adobe Audition, right? That's the, the audio for, for Adobe. Start creating that stuff. Start programming that stuff. Forget the web development if this is where you want to go. Now, if you want to go web development, that's, that's, that's totally fine. But if you're tenure, if you, in 10 years you see yourself being an audio programmer, you, that's what you need to work on. That's what you need to start doing. It's, it's, it's like saying, you know, if, you're, if you said to me, John, hey, you know, I really want to be a professional football player. In 10 years I want to be a professional football player. That's why right now I am going to, I am going to just like build up my endurance by swimming. I, I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You, you want to go to, you want to be this thing, but you're gonna like, it's fine. Yeah, I, I get it. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, if you build up your programming skills, you'll be able to program. But if you want to specifically become a football player, yes, if you swim a lot, you could build up your physical endurance and and become, uh, you know, really strong at, at that and build up your your general constitution. But it's not, it's not going to be as applicable, right? You've got to practice the thing that you want to do, right? I, I just read a really good book on this. I'll recommend this book again, which is Peak, okay? 
really good book. I, I love I love the, that book because he he also hates Malcolm Gladwell, which which I I don't like Malcolm Gladwell's books. I'm sorry, Malcolm, but I just don't I don't like his books. And I don't like his attitude in life. And uh, and and in Peak, he he basically you know says that the 10,000 hour rule is, is bullshit. But what he does talk about a lot is deliberate practice and how important it is. What what he basically says is like th there's a study in there where they have these these chess guys, okay, and these 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 chess guys that are like grandmasters, they, they test them with memorizing or recalling configurations of boards. And some of these guys can play blindfolded chess for like 24 matches at the same time. That means that someone just tells them where the pieces are and they tell them where to move them. They don't, they don't actually see the boards, okay? So what they did was they tested these guys, these grandmaster chess champions, against your average Joe on memorizing positions on the board, where the pieces were on the board, in two ways. One in traditional chess setups that would actually happen in a game, and the second way in setups that would never happen in a real chess game, just random pieces and random positions of the board. So you could, you could probably guess that the grandmasters, that they did really well. They, I mean, they don't even need to see the board, right? They're, they can play blindfolded with positions that would actually happen in a chess game. But guess how well they did against random Joe at memorizing positions of random pieces placed on the board? not better at all, the same. In fact, in some cases worse, right? Basically the same. So what, what is, what, why am I saying that? Because it, it really demonstrates to the point that what you practice is really important, that, that you can't just develop your quote memory, right? You can develop your memory at a game like chess. You can develop your memory to memorize numbers or decks of playing cards or whatever it is. So the same thing here, I would say in your case here, yes, Becoming a good programmer is going to give you some base level of programming skills and knowledge, but if you really want to go into this audio programming, dedicate everything that you're doing, do deliberate practice, specifically train, specifically make your program and your learning path to be being a digital audio engineer that programmer like do that stuff write the code already don't don't say i'm going to you know go swimming and then eventually i'll become a football player when i have a lot of endurance no 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 start doing football drills right now start doing the the combine right start doing all the stuff that you need to do in order to become a better football player if that's what you ultimately want to be because that practice will not carry over from the swimming to football, right? That's what that's kind of what what was what was demonstrated with that study with, with chess, and there's a lot of studies that back that up as well. So focus on the thing that you actually want to learn. Forget the web development unless that's what you're going to go into. Uh, don't don't do that temporarily. And if you think, oh, I'm just going to make a bunch of money in web development, no, no, I I, I, re I would really recommend against that. I would recommend that you go into what you actually want to do. And, and you're going to be you're going to be better off, especially if you've got a 10-year time frame. All right, I hope that helps you, Charlie, or or anyone listening. If uh, if it did, and you'd like to get more videos like this one, it's real simple. All you got to do is click that subscribe button below. And if you want to email me a question so I can tell you that uh, you don't know what the hell you're doing, you need to do something else. Uh, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.